His little flags are wrong. <laughs> Poor guy. Hello, everyone. So I am, I guess, doing a sort of review swatches. Not really review, because I've already reviewed this formula once. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, but this is in the newer, new-ish, not even, not even new-ish. This has been out for like a year and a half, two years. I don't even know. I'm so out of the loop. Anyway, this shade is 390. I did do a review on 400, which I will link in the appropriate places if you want to have more detail on the formula. It is a really nice formula. It wears extremely well on my face. It does have alcohol in the ingredients and it does have a scent. Two things that are kind of a bummer, but I don't find that the scent lingers at least, but you know, skin irritants, etc. So if you want more details on that, look at that. Otherwise, I've got some comparison swatches of this and some other stuff in my collection. I told somebody I was going to swatch the Laura Mercier uh, tinted moisturizer and I never did. So maybe I'll do that. So let's just take a look at the swatches real quick and then um, you can see me put it on my face and we'll do a little chat and come back. All right, so swatches, the bane of my existence. Let's go! Uh, L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear in 390 and 400. You see, as they like oxidize, they are super similar. This is just like a tiny bit lighter. They're both more of a yellow undertone. Um, this is the uh, Lancome Tidal Ultra in 095W. This one looks a lot lighter at first, and then it does dry down quite a bit darker, like probably a full shade darker. This is the um, Revolution Conceal and Define in F0.2. If I want like a pale yellow shade, this is the one I'm going to go to. It's one of the lighter ones that doesn't oxidize, which is a little more unusual for a matte type foundation. This I recently did a Get Ready With Me, I think, and maybe included a couple swatches. It's the Urban Decay um, Tinted Hydrator, uh, this, this thing. Uh, Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I mean, seriously. And that's number 10 in Ultra Fair. It's it's definitely the palest, like, tinted foundation, tinted moisturizer, oh my gosh, try again. Tinted moisturizer type product that I have. And here is Laura Mercier. <laughs> tinted moisturizer in 0W1 uh, Pearl. Another pearl. Um, not so pearly. So this one starts out looking, um, I also did a get ready with me on that one. Um, it is a gorgeous formula. I love the formula, but it oxidizes. It gets so much darker as it starts to set down. It's crazy. And the last one, because it is the gold standard of yellow shades, yellow undertone, pale-ish pale shades. This is NARS, um, what's this formula called? Natural Radiant Longwear in Siberia. So there you go. It's a got these these two, I mean functionally I think are really pretty much the same. So you can see from the swatches, they are really almost the same shade, 390 and 400. I don't know why exactly they released this shade because it is not that much different. If you are paler than me, 390 is not going to be any better for you than 400 was, which is a bummer. Like why? Why? Why'd they make a new shade if it wasn't actually going to be like significantly lighter? Strange. It is a good shade for me. It's a shade that I can wear very easily. I feel like um, on camera it's going to look good because it's just like a smidge darker than my neck, which means when all the light is blasting on my face, it's going to look really similar to my neck. So, and in real life, you know, I'm only wearing like light to medium coverage, so it doesn't really matter that much when shades are off from my neck because... <laughs> unless it's too pale then it's noticeable and then it's kind of strange because all of a sudden my neck will look quite yellow I do have more kind of cool yellow undertones um, you know if I had enough color to me it would be uh, veering a little bit greeny um, but I just don't have that much pigment in my skin I just don't have I don't have much very pale um, so this formula I do really enjoy, like I mentioned before, um, downsides being the alcohol and the fragrance, of course. Um, and yeah, so that Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, you see how dark that got? Crazy. <laughs> it, it seems pretty good at first, and then it gets so much darker 
really kind of a bummer about that. There's something about, that's why the this Urban Decay is such a standout because it's really unusual for the more like moist products to not a be darker to begin with and b um not get even darker as they go there's something about that tinted moisturizer market there just is very few like pale options out there very very few so that one's very notable anyway not about tinted moisturizers <laughs> but since i rarely do swatches these days pretty much never um i just wanted to get that out there so Anyway, uh, yeah, you can see on my face, I apply it with my fingers and I find that it applies really nicely with fingers just pressing it in. Um, I'm not, my face just does not work with like smearing because it will settle into my pores and then just kind of slide off the rest of my face. So patting it in, pressing it in is kind of my preferred method. And that also means I don't have to wash an additional tool. I just have to have clean hands, which I do. So yay. Um, and that's why lately, uh, pressed year probably. I've been just applying products with my hands when I can. So this one applies very nicely with hands. It doesn't require a lot of futzing around with it. I took some close up so you can see it sits really nicely on my skin. This is a formula that also wears really like nicely on my skin. Just overall very nice. I wish if they were going to change one thing, I wish they would take the fragrance out of it because that is really a bummer. It's very off-putting. If you're somebody that gets queasy from fragrances, you know, like myself um you know if you okay so this is very niche but for me if i was like exposed to a fragrance that i don't love and even sometimes that i did like while i was pregnant sometimes i can make this association that always you know i haven't been pregnant for three years yet four years but yet i still will get queasy when i smell that fragrance so it really bums me out when things are scented because what is the point? You know, I'm not putting a face product on my face to smell a fragrance. If I want to smell a fragrance, I'll put a fragrance on. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's like very old, tired argument. <sighs> I feel like I have some energy. I don't know. I don't know where this is coming from. Anyway. Um, I did do a video on the liquid liner I have on just trying to talk about like wings when you have like hooded eyes, mature eyes, crinkly skin, etc. Saggy eyelids, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, so if that is up, I will link to that as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if you have tried this formula, if you have tried this shade. Um, and what you think? Do you think it's kind of ridiculous that L'Oreal has two shades now that are functionally the same? Mm. Okay. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe yours is paler. Maybe they just put 400 in my bottle. I mean, I can tell a difference, but it's so slight. It's really, really silly. Yeah. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon.